Since the latest Premiere Pro update, we now have access to some incredible new effects to experiment with. In today's tutorial, you'll learn everything you need to know about these features in Adobe Premiere Pro. There are two ways to access the new effects. First, you can find them directly within the Effects panel. Alternatively, you can use the Film Impact Dashboard. To open it, simply navigate to the Window menu, then select Extensions, and you'll see it there. If it doesn't appear, make sure your Premiere Pro is updated. You'll get full access completely free. The first effect I want to introduce is Wonder Glow. To apply this effect, go to the Effects panel, search for Wonder Glow, and drag and drop it onto the clip. You can also apply this effect using the Film Impact plugin by going to the Lights and Blurs FX section, where you will find this effect. Just click on Apply. This effect enhances the lights in your footage, making them appear softer and more prominent. Truly stunning. With your clip selected, head over to the Effect Controls panel. Here, you have full control over the effect, allowing you to tailor it exactly to your liking. The Intensity slider obviously increases the strength of the effect, while the Highlights Only property determines how much of your clip's highlights are brightened. Reducing this value essentially expands the area affected by the effect, influencing larger portions of your video. Personally, I usually lower it slightly, and I rarely adjust the other controls unless I want to introduce a specific tint or ambient color. For instance, if I want to add a yellow tint, because my footage contains yellow light and I want to make it more prominent, I select the yellow color. Nothing changes at first, but once I increase the colorize property, a subtle glow of that color is applied. You can also add a second color and increase its amount to make it even more prominent. You can also take advantage of the Surprise Me button. Each time you click it, a new random variation is generated, offering a fresh look. Keep clicking until you find the version that best matches your creative vision. Look at the difference. The before and after is remarkable. This effect works beautifully on clips like these as well, enhancing the footage effortlessly. The next effect I want to introduce is volumetric rays, and trust me, it's absolutely stunning. Take a look at this cinematic shot. A man standing alone on a hilltop, surrounded by dramatic clouds and a calm, moody atmosphere. To apply this effect, go to the Effects panel, search for volumetric rays, and drag and drop it onto the clip. You can also apply this effect using the Film Impact plugin by going to the Lights and Blurs FX section, where you will find this effect. Just click on Apply. When you apply volumetric rays, it instantly elevates the visual appeal. But the possibilities don't stop there. You can do so much more with this effect. First, take some time to experiment and familiarize yourself with its properties. They are truly powerful and versatile, allowing you to craft exactly the look you want. Second, make use of the Surprise Me button. Each click generates a random seed, giving you unique variations every time. You can keep clicking until you discover a version that perfectly fits your vision. Personally, this feature has saved me countless hours of trial and error. You'll notice a small blue circle in the program monitor. You can move this circle to change the direction of the light rays, giving you full control over their orientation. After changing the direction of the rays, I will increase the highlights property to make it look more cinematic. Now look at the final result. Amazing! The next effect I want to show you is Blur Dissolve Impact. To access this effect, go to the Effects panel, search for Blur Dissolve, and drag and drop it between your clips. After applying it, you'll notice that it works really well. You can also customize it based on your needs by selecting the effect and then going to the Effect Controls panel. Here you can adjust the transition timing, as well as blur properties such as duration and the amount of horizontal or vertical blur. You can also adjust the amount of chromatic aberration and exposure. If you don't want to customize it manually, you can click the Surprise Me button. Keep pressing it until you find a variation you like. This way, you can easily create the perfect blur transition. The next effect I want to show you is Plateau Wipe Impact. I have two clips on my timeline. To access this effect, go to the Effects panel, search for Plateau Wipe, and drag and drop it between your clips. After applying it, you'll notice that it works great. You can also customize it according to your needs by selecting the effect and then going to the Effect Controls panel. First, I want to change the angle. You can set it to whatever direction you prefer, left to right or right to left. You can also adjust the animate angle setting. Now this looks good, I also want to add a starting color. To do that, go to the Color Control section, choose a color, and then increase the Colorize property. You can also add contrast and desaturation, which will make your effect even more cinematic. And look at the final result. Amazing! The next effect I want to show you is the long shadow effect. This one essentially replaces the traditional drop shadow, and honestly, it's incredible. For example, let's say I want to add some shadow to my text. Simply locate the long shadow effect in the effects library and drag it onto your text layer. Immediately, you'll see a stunning result. Head over to the effect controls panel and you'll notice several powerful settings. To adjust the softness of the shadow, simply increase the alpha falloff. 
Right below that, you'll find the opacity property, which gives a more refined and visually appealing result than the standard drop shadow. But here's where it gets really interesting. You'll see additional controls for length and angle. Adjusting these properties can create a subtle 3D look, giving your text depth and dimension. And of course, you can even animate the length property to produce some really dynamic and creative effects. The possibilities with this effect are just amazing. The next set of effects I want to introduce are the animators. These are perfect if you want to add quick animations to a logo or any other element without going through the hassle of manual keyframing. Simply head over to the Animation tab, select an animation you like, and click Apply. Instantly, your logo or element comes to life. If you're satisfied with the result, you're done. But here's the really cool part. These animations are applied as transitions. This means you can easily adjust the speed by shortening or lengthening the transition. Additionally, you can open the Effect Controls panel to further tweak the animation settings. Instead of creating the animation from scratch, you can now simply guide it adjusting the curves and other parameters to fully customize it to your liking. I highly recommend experimenting with these new film impact effects. They're incredibly versatile and fun to use. Besides this, Premiere Pro has introduced a brand new masking tool, which you can access by clicking the I button in the top right corner. You can also find the link to it in the video description. And that's it for this video. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more informative tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.